Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I actually like continue this series, but I will try to finish it today. Anyway, my name is Marcus KK Game and Archer. Today we're gonna be playing Wolf Among Us PS4 version. Now um when we last left off we had you got through beating episode three. Which it turns out that like um Igabob Crane possibly wasn't responsible for all the girls or fables deaths in the city. And um now we're gonna start episode four in Sheep's Clothing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So previously on Wolf Among Us, <laughs> so like one TV show, I probably gonna end up like doing like some videos of it. Previously on such Can't afford to look human. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Seriously, they need to make a show for this. I guarantee it's gonna get like a lot of views. <laughs> I forgot that I made that choice. It was a good show, but you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I mean, I forgot that I made that choice to rip out his throat. I'm probably gonna have consequences about that later. Oh, jeez, I think this whole game actually made like some worse consequences. Um, I mean, some worse choices. Sorry. I mean, I don't think I made a good choice yet, other than to give that girl some money. But then again, retribution of that, I stole some money too. <laughs> stole way more money than I gave. They had to drag me. Oh, bleeding out like this? See around. Ooh. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <laughs> Easy there. Try not to move. Ooh. Oh, oh we can't God. Be this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, okay. but there's little I can do. Okay, I'm going with the obvious choice. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same. She for these bullets pepper throughout your vital organs. I need that hand. How the hell is that life? Life threatening. Don't move it, doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh shit! All right, here we go, guys. Y'all ready for this? Oh, come on, X. Ah. Ooh. Where the hell the pig came from? I see. I gotta do it again. I guess. I gotta pop that thing in place, baby. And prop it up, nice and comfy. If I get uncomfortable. Oh, come on, X. X is fighting me here. You see how his eyes changed color at the last minute? Hmm. That's how Not you know bad. it's real. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, you, you hear should. me? This is my job. To what even I can do. It's not like I 
ask for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Man. How many bullets did she shoot at me? Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, really? Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate be the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not <laughs> even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you Linda. please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Ooh. There. All done. Look at this right. shit huh? This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. I'll be visiting you in the morgue, baby. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll Damn. need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. Anyways, <laughs> guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Swiney? <laughs> it's so funny that, like, both of them, like, got pig names. But one of them a pig and one of them got the other pig, but... Man, apparently how many times did Swineheart fix Rick Bigby up? You think he get paid, like, a lot. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. There's a gear, don't worry Hell, about me like I shit. Hell, I take worse. Not much worse. Hell, like shit. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Nah. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's I'm here for you. Um, and even he thought ooh, you Which one should I pick? I uh, know. I gotta pick, oh, I got to. Awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take oh an action film and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Snow's the boss. Ah, oh, fuck, I know what's best that. for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? <laughs> you traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. 
I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice no, in the matter. No, you weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care <laughs> about right could now talk some is... Shit. Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. Hmm. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A mm. little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. I'm just, I'm just be quiet. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, mm. then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Yeah, she can't Just bring let it that down side the law. Of Hold on, I, I gotta speak up. I had to change. Buried, and we can all move on. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees. I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. Ooh, the fight wasn't over. I got out of control. It's what I do, okay? Um. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was. he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care <laughs> about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. <laughs> Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, Ooh. at least someone understands. Ah! He'll you man get the got job my done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Yeah. And this situation has to end. What situation? Wait, what? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? Ooh, shit. It's been the rule for a reason. Knows in charge. And Bigby knows it's for I'm the best of the town. It. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, uh, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh, shit, I gotta make a choice. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Damn, I mean, I know. Fucking um, Snow White is waiting mouth. in your office right now. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? 
Ah, uh, Bigby's got my an baby. admirer. You always do well with the uh, disinformator attracts oh. a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I oh. should probably change out of these clothes. Ah. Sit at the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. It is aye, a lot aye, of blue, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she no. seemed real serious. I wouldn't do that to you, sir. But rules I can still rules. hang out no here, change right? right? No, fuck that. He my boy. Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. You chose friendship over rules, baby. You're always supposed to do. So wait, that's the farm, I'm guessing. Man, feel them bullets. <laughs> you cut me deep, woman. Bloody Mary. Narissa. Oh shit, you check out that intro, baby. Oh. They really need to make this into a series. This was like, this would be like real good if they can make this into a series. At least do like a one-shot series, you know, like um, Constantine or um, Daredevil or something like that. Just to test it out, see how it be, because they, they made once and um, Oz, they might as well make this right here. I mean, then I read the book, the book is like fantastic. It actually goes into like a little bit more detail up in there, right? Just like books. Books go into detail, but movie don't show shit. Just show main characters and just plot twists and that's it. Alright, so episode four. In sheep's clothing. There we go. The beautiful Hi, Marissa. Jeff. Which I wonder why she ain't named Hi, Ariel Marissa. if she um the little mermaid. Unless they're going by the book, which I believe they are. Have a seat. Oh shit, that fan. Seeing that fan remind me of, um, Five Nights at Freddy. um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around mm. if I came by. You know what? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> uh, the, the damn cigarettes, Huff and Puff. That is like funny as hell. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. <laughs> Only Big B does, baby. Ooh. So what Thanks. you bring here? So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. Mm. It, what is it about the Crooked Man? I might have work. More. You're here because the Crooked Man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. So what is up with that? I could answer you just like that. I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No. It looks like she's in pain every time she say that. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now, 
They're gone. And I don't know what to do. It's just about faith in Lily. Where is this going? You can trust me. Is this making any sense? I'm not sure how I can... Wait, she reaching for the rib? What's up with that Are fucking you ribbon? you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Hmm. Are you? I look out for everybody. Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... Hmm. Your lips are sealed. But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Is Do a tool you? of control? You know, yeah, it's a tool of control. How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Hmm. Remove the ribbon. Any way to break the spell? No, can't we I just ask first. take the ribbon off? No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't oh, shit. do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. I'm sorry, Narissa. <sighs> okay. I get it. I mean, just kind of so broken the down there, then. If you take them off, I'll fix this. Yeah, let me comfort her. You know, this is my main chick. Again with the moments. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. Mm. No, I'm going to keep it a secret because she knows she might try to go down there and reinforce shit and everything. You ain't had to take your hands off me, baby. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. What the heck? That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She told me enough. Maybe she keep her from talking. Her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. Ah! So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? They got for or do reason. you think they just heard about last night? Beauty got along from him. Scared the point about what's stuff. been going on. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. 
Why she? Need to solve what's up with that look? Before something else happens. Who knows what? I just noticed her like whole outfit like changed. Now she ain't got like the um. I have the gray suit once she got a black one. She gone to the dark side. She means business. No, once upon a time, okay. Beauty and Beast Department. Like this is like you fucking. You wanted to tell me what you were into. Either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on the Yeah. Table. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you so going to get in the door door right there? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. Alright guys, I'm gonna uh, stop the video off right here, but when we come back, we continue on this journey of telltale proportions. But anyway, that being said, this is Marcus, aka Game and Archer. Now I'll see you in my next video. Or hear from you. Either way, follow.